What's up my shuggies? Ashley here and in today's video, this home goods queen has yet another home goods haul. I have gotten so many good items recently. As many of you know, they have been putting out their Christmas more and more early every year and I was able to get some really good home decor items as well as some holiday items. This haul is going to be only a couple of holiday items but mostly just home decor and furniture that I was able to score including a really big furniture piece that I have been wanting for so long that I am so excited to share with you guys. I am also going to be doing a DIY of that amazing lamp that I did. If you have been following me on IG, you will see that I posted that picture. It is something that I was in love with from Williams and Sonoma, but it was super expensive. So I did an amazing DIY that cost me next to nothing that I am so excited to share with you guys. I'm going to go over all of the details, including where I got it, how I put it together and the finished product. I would like to welcome my new subscribers. If you are new, welcome to the family. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And if you guys are interested in seeing this home goods shop with me and haul and DIY of my Lux lamp, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, we are starting off with some jewelry, which is a great holiday item, and it is from Anna Louise. You guys have heard me talk about this before. I have several of their pieces that I have purchased with my own money, but they were kind enough to send me these to review with you guys to let you know what great pieces I would recommend. They are also having a 20% off sale. I will leave all of the information in the description box down below. And this is the Jill and Uma bracelet. So the Jill is going to be the circular one and then the Uma is going to be the square. I love these for so many reasons. One, they are like perfect friendship bracelets, a new modern look or take on those. I love how dainty they are. So as you can see here, the Jill is really cute too because it has one of the circles that is textured and twisted and then one that is um, seamless and smooth. And then with the Uma, it is the two rectangles and they are both smooth but very delicate looking very beautiful and high-end looking I love the quality of these pieces I also love that all of them as you can see here are fully adjustable so there are one two three different placements you can put them on so if you have a really small dainty wrist this will not be an issue for you if you have a bigger wrist this will not be an issue for you and I love the little details that they include as well the little stone on on the back here and then on the other side it has the A. I also want to talk about the earrings. So these are the low small earrings. They are the literal perfect everyday earring. I'm going to see if it will zoom in on the actual earring <laughs> instead of my face but I love these because they're really nice gold hoop and then I'm going to take one out so you can see up close the nice little detail that they have. So it's really nice and kind of got that point at the corner and then a really nice flat um, post there. So all you do is open it up like such, put it in your ear, and then you hear the little click and it's closed. So super cute everyday hoops. Again, a great present or holiday item to get those that you love because who could not use a classic hoop or cute little bracelet as a gift for the holiday season. So I'll leave everything, like I said, linked in the description box down below. And don't forget to use my code because they do have a 20% off sale going on right now.
All right, you guys, we are gonna start off with two items that are in this room, and I am so excited about this room. I am almost done, I guess. I could say that I'm done decorating this room. I want to potentially see if the piece that I recreated as the DIY would work up here. Otherwise, I'm perfectly okay with it. But I did want to show you it is coming together. But I found these amazing Sherpa Ottomans at Home Goods for right underneath this repurposed acrylic uh, desk or table, whatever you want to call it. They're $69.99. I'm sure you've seen them before. I have one also in my beauty room that I absolutely love. But I just think the simplicity of these and the texture is really what draws me to them. They give a very like textural, comfy, cozy, but yet modern vibe. And that's why I love them. So I put them together with this acrylic little desk. And I will link this below in the description box. Seriously, one of the best investments ever. And then of course, my favorite home goods find this is a domain mirror I got forever ago at home goods but I DIY'd it and painted it black instead of gold because you know I was having one of those days where I just wanted to go ahead and do it so I DIY'd it I love the way that it turned out so I put it on this acrylic um, little desk or table and I think it fits perfectly in this little space inside this bedroom and then I took this pre-existing pompous that they actually currently have all over home goods so if you're looking for pompous now is the time to go find it and I put it in this vase which is old from um Kirkland's and put this little space together. So if you have a little console table like this or a little entryway table, a little desk, whatever you want to call this, this is the perfect little setup. I've also seen where people do pictures in the background and they put little um, accessories on the top of this and that looks cute as well. So you literally could make this space anything you wanted, but I love the dimension that this gives. It gives a little bit more dimension than just putting a plain leaning mirror here, which I originally wanted to do. So I will see if I can find something similar and link it below. I definitely can link this um, acrylic table and then I will also see if they have anything similar. I know that they have these mirrors running around still um, Hobby Lobby and a bunch of other places. So something super easy for you to DIY as well. Next up, we have this Big Daddy right here. And if you guys have been following me, you know I have been trying to find something like this for so long. I left the sticker on here. Well, I always leave the stickers on here. And I also wanted to leave it on here to show you the style number in case you are looking for this so you can call your local stores. I will let you screenshot this. It was only $199 and it literally is the perfect sleek modern black leaning mirror. I have been looking for one and the only ones that I could find were super duper short and this one, let's see, I am right around 5'8", so I would say at least, I would say six and a half feet. So definitely a really good height, perfect for this space, perfect for this room. I didn't want anything too overwhelmingly large because this isn't an overwhelmingly large room. I just wanted something to kind of be sleek, modern, and thin in profile to kind of fit the space. I also used pre-existing pillows on the bed and then this beautiful blanket, which I know the last time I talked to you guys, I hadn't yet gotten this in from Target and I absolutely am obsessed. This is part of the Jungle Low collection. This is going to be in my Target video, but I will link it below for you guys because so many of you asked about this. It is really nice and soft and really nice quality. I love that it's not stark black and white. It's more of like a grayish black and off-white color, so really beautiful beautiful and ties in really well with the modern sleek look. This is also the result of that DIY, so that will be at the end of the video. If you are looking for one of the Williams and Sonoma or all of the other high-end brands versions of this lamp, then definitely check that out at the end of this video. Really, really easy and cost-effective way to get a really nice, cute, modern, high-end looking lamp that will not break at the bank. Okay, next are some kitchen items that I absolutely love and didn't know that I needed. And one of them is the splatter guard. So if, if you cook as much as I do and you hate getting grease everywhere, especially if you cook with propane, these would be perfect for you. They're super affordable and I love that they're sleek and black. They have a really nice comfortable handle, 
so you just set it over top of whatever you're cooking and it reduces the splatter so instead of it getting all over your countertops it helps contain that i also love this massive strainer scoop and it is by the brand joseph and joseph again super affordable from home goods and it's simple and sleek with a black color and it's just a massive um, handheld strainer essentially which is great so if you have just one serving of pasta if you have a smaller serving of corn or something that is a larger serving that you just want to get one serving out of this would be great because you can scoop it up in the pan strain it without having to pour everything in the pan out into a bigger strainer so you're keeping that water or whatever liquid you have in the bottom to keep it nice and contained I also needed a larger cheese grater. I literally had the world's smallest. It's probably a zester at this point. I'm not even sure, but this is a really nice cheese grater and super, again, cost-effective. I love that it's really sharp and it's got these massive holes in it, so it'll give me a nice thick cut on my cheese. If anybody knows, when you get the blocks of cheese, trying to shred them is really difficult. So love these. They have literally so many different accessories for the kitchen. If you ever are in need, do not hesitate to stop in that kitchen section. I will link some of these below, which I have found similar ones online. And don't forget that Home Goods Now is online. They don't have everything, but they have started a platform. So I will see what I can link and link it below for you guys. Next up are these oil containers or bottles. I literally am obsessed with these. I have been seeing them a lot recently and decided to get another pack to put my sesame oil in and my rice wine vinegar so I literally have everything you could ever need all in this beautiful little clear acrylic tray and I'm slowly converting everything into these glass bottles. I love them. They come in a couple of different styles as well. So if you don't like the plainness of these cylinders, then they definitely have ones with texture. And then of course the pour spout at the top. I got two of them for five bucks, which makes them $2.50 each. And you literally cannot beat that. So if you are in the need or you're just reorganizing and want something to store, that's not going to break the bank, then I will definitely find something similar and link it below, including this clear lazy Susan, because I absolutely love it. It makes it so easy, especially when you have smaller uh, vertical containers on top or you have just a corner to store things in. These really work well for that as well. Next up are these super slim carafes. I absolutely fell in love with these when I saw them. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, $7.99, but they are so amazing. They're leak proof with a design. You can twist open this top and pour your stuff out or you can twist the top all the way down and seal it so it is leak proof and then if you want to refill it you can take and twist the white lid off and put something new inside super super nice fits any standard um, refrigerator door it is dishwasher safe and the best part is look how slim it is so you literally could fit too deep or you could turn it to the side and fit a ton more containers in that way size wise it is 1.7 liters so it still is a good size and i love how slim and sleek it is because i don't have a ton of room in my refrigerator and i wanted to get something that was going to be really nice and slim and not take up a ton of room so i could store my juices um, whether that's orange juice or juices that I make in my juicer from Amazon, but I love this design. I think it's beautiful and I wish I had found these so long ago because they're going to make my life so much easier. So I'll see if I can find something super similar. If not, I will look on the home goods website to see if they have them online as well and link whatever I find in the description box down below. Next up are these woven pot holders. OMG. I didn't know that I needed these. How cute are they? They come in so many different color combinations as well as shapes. I believe there was round as well. I love them because they have the little hook. So if you wanted to hook them somewhere, you could, if not, you can just use them, but I would seriously use these all the time when I cook and I just want to bring the pot from the stove to the countertop without having to worry about scorching or burning it. So these would be perfect for that. And of course they're black and white, so you can't go wrong. $5.99 for two, that makes them $3 each. And they are by the brand Stitch and Weft. And I absolutely love them. Like I said, they come in a ton of different color combinations as well, including different combinations of black and white. So if you want something simple for your kitchen or hang them for decor, you want them to match your aesthetic, you definitely can check and see all of the different color combinations. Again, I will check and see if they have them online 
online on the home kits website if not i will see if i can find something similar to link below for you guys all right next up are these amazing branches i recently posted about this and i absolutely love them because they have this like wintry gray color to them and i think they are perfect for the winter and holiday season. They match perfectly well with this tree that I got last year from Target. I believe it's the Threshold brand and it has this beautiful like faux snow on top. And then of course my favorite riser with my white pumpkin candle. It is a really nice setup and if you are looking for something large and grand, I would definitely recommend this because it it is so cost effective. I think $12 for three branches. I ended up getting two packs two or three packs, um, so at the most $36, and it looks so nice in an area where you really want some height and texture. So I'll see if I can find something similar below. I believe I have already seen something at Michael's. I'll link it below for you guys because this is a perfect, grand centerpiece to have in your home. All right, next up are these vessels and boxes. This happened to be all in the same area of this new console that I found that I'm obsessed with from Home Goods, and these fit the theme perfectly. They are so textured and so beautiful. I think they fit the color scheme. I think they fit the size and scale, and I love how affordable they were. This one is more of a thick, heavy metal, and then this one is like a tin metal. And again, as you can see, the details of the texture texture on both of them. And then I found these really abstract black and white boxes that I thought just fit this console perfectly. This is of course my DIY artwork that I showed in one of my recent videos. If you wanted to see how I did that, you can go back and check that out. But I love how this console came together and I feel like the outcome is exactly what I wanted with a nice touch of gold. That's what I really love about these vessels, that they're not that sort of super bright, bright gold. They're more of a muted, I'd say bronzy gold, if that makes sense. And they do open up, so if you wanted to leave the top off and put some sort of greenery or faux stem inside, you could do that as well. But I have been seeing them a ton lately in stores, so they definitely are still floating around. I will also see if I can find something similar online um, and link them below for you, of course, as well. But these probably are my most favorite finds that I have found recently at Home Goods. I found them at two separate home goods and then these I found at another one. So I will see what I can find online and link it below for you guys. I also wanted to talk about the few things on this tablescape that are from home goods. This guy right here, which as you can see, I have not taken the tag off. I love this shade of gold. I don't know what you would really call this. It is like, I don't know, a brownish type gold. It's not a bright gold like this, but I love how it incorporates that brown taupey gold into the mix. So everything is still cohesive, yet it's not all the same exact shade of gold, um, including these trees, which these are not from Home Goods, um, and I'll talk about them in a future video. But I wanted to show you this one because I absolutely adore it. I think it was around 14 or $24 for the price. And then which other ones from Home Goods? This guy is from Home Goods, but I DIY'd him and sprayed him glossy black, which is why he looks so cute. This guy right here, which he does light up as well, and I just painted him a, it was a, like a faux silver color, and I painted him matte black. And then this little guy on the end was also the same exact, uh, you can probably see a little bit popping through, or that's glitter, I don't know, yeah, that's glitter. But it was also that faux, silver color and I painted this one matte black as well just to kind of get this whole little theme going of I guess you could say black gold and lots of sparkle. So like I said I will talk about the rest of the trees more in depth in a future video but I love the way this turned out so don't forget to hit up home goods especially now because their stuff is going super quick for the holiday season. I also want to talk about this idea that I'm so happy it came to life. Look at how cute these vessels are that I found near the checkout section. And you guys, I'm seriously on the hunt. I'm going to go to every single home goods that I find because I'm obsessed with these and I want so many more to put the rest of my baby trees in. I'm not going to touch them because they're perfectly set, but this is the Studio McGee, I believe, tree with that wooden base from last year and I believe the year before that. 
very cute. However, I just was sick at looking at the wooden base and I feel like my theme this year was a little bit more of that organic look if you will so I didn't want to have the wooden base so I put that one inside this which literally was like nine dollars and 99 cents so affordable I spray painted this guy which he was from Target last year and he was like a gray color and then I found this vessel and there you can kind of see the base it's like the wicker base tree that is also from Target from last year and it has the faux snow on top so I thought it looked perfect with this distressed vessel. How good does that look? I, I seriously am obsessed. I want every single tree in my house to now be in some sort of a vessel. And it was just an idea that I came up with. And then I happened to be roaming through Home Goods at the checkout and I saw these and I'm like, oh my gosh, these two are perfect. I wasn't sure if this one was going to work, but I knew this one would. I had to bring them home and try. This one was only $12.99. So it is a literal steal. For 22 bucks, 23 bucks, I got brand new trees. They look totally new. You would never know they are the same ones from last year. So if you have older trees that you aren't really in love with anymore, do not get rid of them. Throw some faux snow on there, which I can link some below for you guys. Throw them in a new pot or vessel or grab a new pot or vessel. It's cheaper than buying a new tree because they can be so expensive. So I hope this sheds a little bit of light on somewhat of a DIY for you. If you want to not break the bank, but have new fresh looking trees for this holiday season. In. And I also wanted to talk about this amazing wreath. You guys, I have never seen a more real looking wreath before in my entire life from Home Goods. I wanted to show you what it looked like up on that DIY piece. I just used some old, this is like a gingham fabric ribbon that I had just literally lying around in my hobby kit that I have and I just hung it up there with some smart hooks on the other side of it to give it some tension and I love the way that it looks. So I wanted to show you what that looked like if you are trying to do something different with a wreath instead of just the typical putting it on the door. I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of a different twist you can put on wreaths. They look so beautiful hung so many different ways like I showed you in my previous Instagram post or story, I don't remember which one I did, you can lay it down on the table and kind of use that as a centerpiece. You can hang them like this, you can put them on the door, you can put faux snow and lights on them. There's so many creative things that you can do, but I wanted to show you this. So if you are doing some shopping or if you are getting ideas for decorating your home for this holiday season, I hope that this helps guide your way. So we are starting out at Goodwill and you guys, I scored big. I found these two matching lamps that actually work. Got some wooden balls that I will link below for you. Mapped out an exact dimension from top to bottom, left to right, numbered them and started going to town with some hot glue and gluing them together. As you can see there, they are just all glued on looking pretty. And then I went in with some tape and taped it out to keep that old school gold there and then spray them with some matte black spray paint and a look at the finished product. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am absolutely in love with the way that it turned out. I will also link the lampshade. It is from Target and it is a beauty. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out that link to the Anna Louise jewelry and my description box down below. As always, I will link everything that I can in the description box down below. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.